What's up guys, it's Henry here again and welcome back to another episode of Apparel Academy. Now for someone getting started in the apparel integration business, you might be wondering what is the best apparel integration method to get started with given there's so many choices and you might be overwhelmed by the choices out there. You can choose to start with embroidery, heat transfer vinyl, screen printing, sublimation, white toner transfer printing, the list goes on and on and it might be overwhelming to think about what's the best fit for you to get started in this business with. So in this video, I'm going to give you a breakdown of these different methods and and some of the pros and cons or things to consider when starting with it. While there might not be a right or wrong answer, I hope that these considerations will help you take that next step in this industry. So with all that being said, let's jump right into it. So for someone looking to get started in the apparel integration business, it is natural to feel a little bit overwhelmed by the number of choices of apparel integration methods out there. So while there are a variety of apparel integration methods out there, the three or four main ones that we offer here at Ricoma include embroidery, direct-to-garment printing, white tuner transfer printing, and heat transfer vinyl. So all of these different apparel integration methods have their own nuances and considerations, and there might not be a quote-unquote best method to get started with. It all depends on on your individual circumstance and your business. For example, let's get started with embroidery. Embroidery has a higher perceived value because you're dealing with threads and needles and you're actually stitching the design onto the garment. So the design is going to last longer on the garment and it's going to look much more professional when done properly. Because of the elegance and the higher perceived value, people are willing to pay more of a premium for quality embroidery. On the other hand, for something like heat transfer vinyl or two-step heat transfer using a white toner transfer printer, those things Things have a lower barrier to entry because they cost less to get started. You can buy a vinyl cutter and a heat press for maybe a couple of hundred bucks and a white toner transfer printer for a couple of thousand dollars and start customizing t-shirts. It has a lower cost of entry but does not have quite the higher perceived value such as embroidery or direct -to garment printing. There is also a much quicker learning curve with heat transfer because you're really just using a heat press to press on the design onto a surface and you're not dealing with moving parts like like embroidery thread or actual needles that might be a little bit of a higher learning curve to climb. Between the two, heat transfer vinyl is probably on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of cost and ease of use to get started. And white toner transfer printer using a two-step heat transfer method is probably one step up from that. A white toner transfer printer is also much more versatile than heat transfer vinyl because you're able to print full color designs onto a transfer paper and then transfer that onto the garment. With heat transfer vinyl, it will be very difficult to print multicolor designs because each vinyl roll is a single color only. So in order to print a multicolor heat transfer vinyl design, you will have to layer different types of vinyl maybe on top of each other or overlap them in order to create a multicolor design. This is precisely why heat transfer vinyl is much more conducive for single color designs and simple text rather than full color designs. When you get into the full color design end of the spectrum, that's where really the white tuna transfer printer comes in or even direct to garment printing where you're not using a heat transfer process but rather printing directly onto the garment itself. Even between white toner transfer printing and direct to garment printing, there are nuances and differences and pros and cons between each that can help you decide which one to go with. Direct to garment printing has a higher cost of entry because the equipment costs more, but you get super high quality full color designs onto a variety of garments. You can print these designs directly on black and white garments as well as cotton or polyester garments. So you can see that DTG printers are very versatile for the type of items you're looking to do. Now if you couple that with a white toner transfer printer that can transfer designs onto hard surfaces like mugs and plates, then you really have a really versatile operation where you have the best of both worlds in DTG and white toner transfer printing. Many people might have a false understanding that white toner transfer printing is meant to replace direct to garment printing, but that's simply not the case. They actually work in conjunction with each other and serve very different purposes. That's why many apparel integration shops have direct to garment printers and white toner transfer printers under one roof to serve different purposes for the variety of items they're looking to do for their clients. Finally, circling back to embroidery, which is a complete separate beast and a complete different realm versus printing products, embroidery not only has the higher perceived value and elegant look when stitched onto a piece of garment, 
management, but it is also more involved in terms of its process. This is because you're actually dealing with threads and needles and the backing, for example, and the different settings for tension that you might have to adjust depending on what type of items you're looking to do. There's also the element of digitizing when it comes to embroidery, which might be a little bit more involved versus other types of software. Digitizing is the process to turn a vector file or a design into a format that the machine can read, essentially a stitch file. Many people, when starting out, will actually choose to outsource their digitizing to a digitizing professional and maybe focus on learning the craft of embroidery and maybe take on digitizing later on in the process. There are plenty of professionals out there that focus on digitizing and you can get digitized logos for a very affordable price and then use the digitized file to do the actual embroidery. While embroidery might be more hands-on and involved, it is not rocket science and can definitely be learned. In fact, people that have zero prior experience with embroidery have climbed that learning curve and have been successful in the embroidery business. There is a learning process, but if you put in the effort and master it, it is a very lucrative process. Again, because it has a higher perceived value. There are just so many applications and use cases for embroidery and custom apparel in general that any of these apparel decoration methods that I went over is a good way to get started. It just all depends on your needs, what type of items you're looking to do, and your budget. One last note to keep in mind is whichever apparel decoration method you decide to go with, make sure you dominate and learn that method first before going on to other methods. Because any apparel decoration method you choose is going to have a learning curve and it's going to take time to master it. So master one first and then you can expand into other verticals and other apparel decoration methods to then become the one-stop shop experience for your customers. As I mentioned previously, these different apparel decoration methods and equipment will have different levels of entry cost. Some equipment might be more expensive, some might be more affordable to get started with. But no matter what budget you have, there are always ways to obtain the machine to get you started in your business. For example, here at Ricoma, for all of our machinery, we do offer 0% financing so that you can have a low affordable monthly payment to get you started in your business. So if you're interested to learn about any of the products that we offer here at Ricoma, make sure to check them down in the description below and talk with a product specialist so that they can help understand what your business needs are and therefore guide you to the right machine. All right, guys, I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you give this video a quick thumbs up. It will greatly help out this channel. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date as soon as new videos come out. We post several tutorials and videos like these every single week, as well as YouTube shorts to give you quick tips and tricks. And like I said, there's no best method to get started with. It really just depends on what your needs are and what your budget is. There's a variety of factors that no one can decide for you because you know your business best. However, I hope that this information has given you some clues as to what are the differences between these methods and some of the pros and cons to consider and therefore make the right decision for your business. In fact, on this channel, I've also done other deep dive videos on comparisons between these different apparel decoration methods. For example, if you want to learn about what's the difference between DTG and white tuna transfer printing, or what's the difference between heat transfer vinyl and white tuna transfer printing, those are videos that you can check out. I put them in the cards above and down in the description below. These videos not only help you understand what are the costs of these different types of equipment, but also get into more of the technical details and the technical differences between each of these apparel decoration methods. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest things happening in the world of decorated apparel, make sure to follow us on all our social channels down below. We're very active on Instagram and even on TikTok with some entertaining content. And last but not least, if you want to join a community of over 20,000 embroiderers and apparel decorators and learn from your peers and be a part of the conversation, make sure to check out our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. I put that down in the link below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.